Hey guys, um, what I'm doing here today, I've got Super Cobra Jet uh, aluminum heads. Got to remove the inner valve springs um, before you can break in your flat tappet cam. I'm showing how to remove those, um, remove the valve retainers. One I've made up here is uh, got a fitting going to the spark plug hole. Um, got a quick connect on the other end and hook it up to my air compressor so I can pressurize the cylinder, uh, keep the valve up when the retainers are off. Um, put a little bit of anti seize on here just for going into the aluminum heads, just don't want any issue. With that it's a little snug. I actually have a little bit of issue trying to get it started too. Alright. Pretty much just do it hand tight. Hook up my shop air, got it to about between 100 and 120 psi. Right now I've got it about 110. <laughs> I've got here is I got in the shop made up a tool for me basically goes around the rocker arm the stud got this cut out to go around the edge of the valve spring put on your rocker arm nut Snug it down. Basically, it sticks a little bit. There we go. All right, unstuck. Down, take your needle and pliers, pull out retainers, keepers, whatever you call them. Let up slowly. Still got a little tension. Basically, just loosen this up. Right about the time it gets to the very end, all the tension will be off the spring. Spring off. You can see the uh, pressurizer there is keeping the valve up from falling down. Take a double spring. Pull it out. Put your outer spring back on. Nut hand tight, enough to get some good bite. And then what I found works the best with this is actually go ahead and go down as far as you can. And here's my keepers right here. Basically, just do the same thing but backwards. It's beveled. You want to put your narrow end down 
and the fatter end is to keep her up. It's cone shape where it fits down. basically it. I'm going to move my keepers. I don't even know if it matters, but the split put horizontal. There she is. Swap it out with the inner valve spring removed. 